Being gifted the season 4 trailer for Camp Cretaceous was not enough for you guys. Well, today we've got a whole lot more because new information regarding the show has confirmed the return of a specific monster from a previous season. That's new. me we shouldn't go in there which means we're obviously going in there come on hey guys how you all doing today now for today's video I want to talk about Camp Cretaceous season 4 because after I had finished recording the breakdown of the trailer and was getting ready to edit I received new information regarding two articles for the season 4 which one of them included the confirmation of the return of none other than the Scorpius Rex, which we had last seen both of them being killed off by the campers and Blue in the Jurassic Park Visitor Center when it had collapsed on both of them, killing them instantly. However, with the end of Season 3, we got to see that there was a mysterious creature hidden in the yacht that the kids were taking with them on their way back to mainland and many people had begun instantly discussing it. Many thought it was the Scorpius Rex, which we didn't know because at the time we believed that Scorpius Rex was fully dead. However, we did get confirmation in a new image for one of the two articles, which shows the Scorpius Rex actually on a tr redwood tree in what appears to be a redwood forest which we have seen in the trailer a few times, specifically with the green T-Rex, which also, we will talk about that guy in a second as well. Now, nothing has come out about the Scorpius Rex as of yet on what its role may be. However, we have discussed it in the past, such as how we theorized that it could actually become an ally for the campers, as with the threats like the Spinosaurus, the saber-toothed tiger, and also these, this new T-Rex along with raptors and all these new dinosaurs, they could, they will need themselves an ally in the form of a dinosaur after all. Bumpy is no longer with them. She has remained on Isla Nublar, so they don't have a dinosaur friend. Which, this theory, while crazy, could make sense if they find the Scorpius as an infant and raise it. Which, if that does turn out to be the case, it would be an interesting way of showing the hybrids. However, this isn't 100% confirmed, so we cannot um, discuss it anymore. But, this other article that came discusses the trailer fully, including revealing something very interesting with the Spinosaurus, and that is that according to one of the creators, the Spinosaurus that appears in the trailer is actually the one from Jurassic Park 3 in 2001, which that is some massive news. Now, they said it's possibly the same Spinosaurus, which doesn't 110% confirm it, but it basically does, after all. They haven't lied to us so far, we should just trust them on this for now. But, with this bit of information, forget about the shock value, it leaves us a whole lot of questions, specifically, what, when did they find the Spinosaurus? After all, Mazrani and InGen had gone to the second island to collect as many dinosaurs as they could from Isla Sorna and take them to Isla Nublar for Jurassic World, which you'd assume would be the Spinosaurus as well. So, could this show be explaining what happened to the Spinosaurus afterwards? Could it have not been found by the companies and just left on Sorna and then eventually Manticore found it? Or could it be explained that it was actually found before Masrani actually went to the island, along with other dinosaurs? Which, that could explain why Rexy could still remain the only T-Rex on Nublar. It could be explained that this green T-Rex is actually the bull T-Rex, and the Spinosaurus from JP3 is the same one that we see in the trailer as well. It could be explained that Manticore went to that island long before Mizrani got to the island, and took control of what they could before Mizrani came and they took the remaining dinosaurs. That could be explained, and it would make perfect sense, and it could leave us to wonder what happened to other dinosaurs that were taken, such as Velociraptors, because we do know that Manticore does have Velociraptors, as an image shows a pair of them 
going surrounding some of the campers which does not look good for the campers but could it be that they did find raptors as well it, it leaves us it leaves the door wide open to what other dinosaurs could appear because any dinosaur that was on Isla Sorna between the events of JP3 and also the time in which Masrani and Injun collected them for Jurassic World it it's anyone's game for what could happen but guys that is all the news we're gonna talk about today a relatively short video compared to the previous one but I just want to talk about the con confirmation of Spinosaurus being the one from JP3 as well as the Scorpius Rex returning and what do you think this means for other dinosaurs and a big question for you guys with this if the Spinosaurus was collected after the events of Masrani and InGen's collection of dinosaurs, what does that mean happen to Sorna afterwards? Leave the comments what you think, and that may be another video in the future. But we'll have to wait until then. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye